Well, President Museveni's son, that is Muhozi Kainerugaba, has assured Ugandans that he's gonna win the 2026 general elections, come what may. Well, in other news, uh, Dr. Kiza Besije, former presidential candidate, has finally spoken about running for president in 2026. Stand by for the details. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. Guys, we have clocked 13k subscribers just two days after clocking 12k subscribers. I'm telling you, this is very, very unbelievable. But thank you so much for subscribing and welcome aboard. And trust me, you got the buzz. You got everything. Now, going to the stories I have for you right now, let's kick start with President Museveni. Now, President Museveni, while addressing Ugandans at Kololo and those who were live on TV yesterday, he said this is the time to forget about bread and start feeding on cassava. Of course, we all know the situation in the country right now is not the best. Uh, commodity prices have gone high. Uh, we don't know which people to run to. I mean, the ones we would be running to, they are telling us, you know, to eat cassava. So I should say the situation in the country right now is not good. And uh, if someone is not careful, my friend, you may find yourself in the village. However, President Museveni says uh, the skyrocketing prices are as a result of natural calamities like, you know, COVID-19 and also the war between Russia and Ukraine. Now, in his own words, President Museveni said, if there is no bread, eat cassava. Africans really confuse themselves. You're complaining that there is no bread or wheat. Please eat mogo. I don't eat bread myself. <laughs> uh, that is President Museveni right there for you. Uh, to me, President Museveni's statement feels like as government, there is nothing they can do about this situation. You know, his statement feels like let's just accept the situation and wait for God to intervene. Uh, Uganda, we need prayers. We really need serious prayers, I'm telling you. Anyway, in other news, uh, President Museveni's son, that is Muhozi Kanerugaba, has assured Ugandans and his followers that come 2026, he's gonna win the elections of president. Now, let's first read his statement together before I give you more details. It reads, when Tim Muhozi Kanerugaba wins power in this country, which we will, our first act will be to increase the sports budget. Now, that is the first statement he said. Uh, there is also another statement he said which reads, The enemies fought us for so long. They abused me with every name they could find. They can't believe we have taken over the country. We will not stop until we are in complete control. Well, that is Mohozi Kanerugaba, President Museveni's son. But his statements have disturbed a section of Ugandans. According to the constitution of Uganda, if you're a soldier boy and you want to stand for any political position, you have to first resign. But Mohozi is busy uttering out political statements and expressing interest in becoming the president of Uganda, which contradicts with the constitution of Uganda, because he hasn't resigned from the army. And now some Ugandans are saying it seems in Uganda right now to Inamuabana Nebiana, because in some situations we are not respecting the constitution of the country. By now we expect the institution of UPDF to have come out and tell us that what General Mohozi Kanerugaba is doing is not right, but everyone is quiet and it seems they are all in support of the political statements he's putting out even when he's still a serving army officer. But I'm watching on everything and as long as you're on the buzz UG, trust me, you're covered with everything. Now, in other news, a former presidential candidate, that is Dr. Kiza Besije, has spoken about whether he will run for president in the 2026 general elections. Now, Dr. Kiza Besije was recently in an interview and he was questioned whether he's considering running for president in 2026 and he said, President Museveni will never be removed through elections and even if he's defeated, he can never hand over power to another person peacefully. Well, Besije also said he's not interested in positions and doesn't have ambitions of being a leader. And in his own words, he said, I can say this without the slightest fear of contradiction that I don't have ambitions of being a leader. I only undertake leadership simply to try and have a country where everyone and myself can enjoy our full rights. Once this is achieved, you will never see me in these headaches. 
Well, that is Dr. Kiza Besije, former presidential candidate in the previous elections, apart from that of 2021. There you go. I don't know what you make of these stories, but of course, those are some of the biggest stories that I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also be part of the family 24-7 because I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Anything entertainment, anything current affairs, trust me, you'll get it right here on the Buzz UG. Thank you.